Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Roman, sorry for the wait. Good morning, Sakura. And bear embraced each other with a kiss. Darn, I miss these so weak lips so much. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. Sakura gave me one side of her headphones and start to see the player. I know the song. I mean, it's a. I mean, everybody knows probably the song, but I have no idea what its name is. But it's really nice. Oh, I know the song, but I don't remember its name. Oh, okay, Robert from this game, you're stopping me. A breakfast expression was blank, then turned to embarrassment. She was beat to root by red. Something wrong. She pointed toward a building near us. I looked to see and it was... Love Hotel! <laughs> okay, it seems we take a little break here, so see you in a few minutes and hopefully nothing bad will come, but... <sighs> the week went by quickly. Friday evening came, the day before the festival. Oh no, not the day before the festival. The music is not very good in this situation. No. Preparations for the festivals were awfully hard, but I promised you guys I'd help her. We had to prepare the stands, the, the stands, the stands and the decorations. Brain, you stay in English. Rika came to tell what to do and where to go. Hey, maybe could you give me, give us a hand? I can't. I'm guiding you, idiot. We really don't have the same understanding of the world. Help. I had to move some boxes inside the temple. I was alone. The boxes were inside a big dark room with a lot of old junk. It's so dark I can't see a thing. Rika, are you hidden here? Yes, come over here. I followed the direction of her voice, but I suddenly stumbled into something and I fell onto the floor. Well, not exactly the floor. I fell on something warm and comfy. Uh, the classic oops I fell onto something and it was not the floor I saw the this this bottom bottom sound where he squishes something round and soft like in every arm entry anime ah I fell on on something my hands squished the metal things thing I was on what is this I don't even According to the to this this, this dash, there there will be a smack. You idiot! Wow, I'm good. Something hit my cheek, and I instantly got up by instinct. I realized what I fell on, or who I fell on, or on on what thing, on who I fell on. You pervert! Stop touching me! I stopped. I stopped. I'm sorry, it was an accident. Turn the freaking light on and help me lift this box up there. Damn, this girl is nuts. Huh. She is nuts. Like now, okay. Although her breast felt really nice. Bro, you have a girlfriend. Go swam and mellow and big. Uh, what the hell am I thinking about? Yes, my bro. Rika is definitely not my type of girl. Not at all. I mean, some people like the zoom, though. So, uh. Plus, I'm already with Sakura. The day after Matsuri arrived. The club planned I will go with Sakura and Rika. And maybe Nanami, if she's motivated. No problem. I can't wait to see them. I was waiting for Sakura in front of her house. I was wearing my brand new yuka dot that she gave me. She finally appeared in a wonderful pink and red kimono. She looked like a Miku priestess. She was pretty. The 
Damn! Wow, Sakura, you look superb. Rowan, do you get us suits you very nicely? He comes close and whispers in my ear with a grin. I wonder what's hidden inside. Oh. Also, wait, does this mean that... <laughs> Maybe you'll see you later. I saw a woman come out of the house. That must be Sakura's mother. She looks very young for a mother of an 18-year-old. She looks like she's in her early 30s at least. The implications are not very good in this case. And I'm not very good at it with the soaps. Oh, you must be Roman, I presume. Okay, she could, she pretty too. I have to admit. My daughter never stops talking about you. Sakura looks looked embarrassed and blushed. Okay, that is also a, 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 a. Mom! From the Yuki that you're wearing, I assume that you'll come to the Matsuri too, ma'am. Yes, once my husband is ready, we'll go as well. Oh no. We'll be going on ahead, ma'am. See you later. Have fun, you two. Don't have to, but don't have too much fun. You know what I mean? We were about to leave, but then Sakura's mother called me. He spoke quietly. I know that you and my daughter are going out. Yikes. Sakura told me how much you love each other. And what you already did, you know. Again, don't have too much fun. I'm so happy that my daughter found someone so kind and so understanding. It's fine, ma'am. I, I do love Sakura more than anything, no matter how she was born. That's sweet. C can I count on you to make her the happiest woman she always wished to be? As far as, far as my, my memory goes, yes. I promise. I will, ma'am. She smiled and I went back to Sakura. We waved goodbye to Sakura's mom and made our way to the festival. Loud noises and music were becoming audible as we got closer to the festival. What were you talking about with, with mom? Um, nothing odd. By the way, your mom looks incredibly young. Yeah, she gave birth to me when she was only 16 years old. The implications are not very good in this case. Oh no. My father was her Japanese teacher. The implications are not very good in this case. What? The fish? Please, please be the teacher in, in his young 20s. Especially in when he was 20. Uh, sounds like a manga cliche. Yes. In this day and age. Mm, no. <laughs> yes, it is. He smiled for a while, but then it grew thin. I don't like my father very much. Yeah, I remember why, I think. Because he doesn't understand you, right? Sometimes he scares me. Recently he... He said he would never accept me as his daughter. I didn't know what to say. Um... Well, you will. My father seems to be confused with the case of his child. Mm-hmm. In fact, he even admitted that he was always preferred having a real boy. Hey, at least he gets a hit. He probably gets a good grandson. Maybe. But I'm a boy with everything girly, and it makes him angry. I know that again. And how does your mom feel about everything? She prefers a girl at the time, but she doesn't care at all now. No matter if I'm a boy or a girl, I'm her child first of all, and that is important. Doesn't matter what what your child identifies as or even transfers as. It's your child, so hmm. of course you should also understand how they are feeling and so also <clears throat> no. You, you know what I try to say here, right? Hopefully. She understands me and she takes me for who I am. I guess that easily after the chat I had with her earlier. That's a good thing. If only your dad saw things like your mom does. Right? You can count on your mother if something bad happens. 
And you know, you can count on Rika, Nanami, and me if you need Sakura's math and to help my arm tightly. You know, Rum? We arrived at the festival and we are, we are joined by Rika. She was wearing a very pretty Papa Yukata that showed her shoulders outside. Ah, oh, I guess what she tries to do here, eh? Hey, 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 you lovers! Rika! Rika, your Yukata is great! <laughs> I know what you really mean, you pervert! Hey, it was just one time and it was an accident! And I have a girlfriend, you know! How are you guys? My my, it looks like our city rat has himself a nice Yukata. Thanks, Rika. Hey, wait, well, I'm no city rat. By the way, where is Nanami? Knowing her, she probably went off to playing the shooting games. Shooting games? Let's go join her and play too. Oh, I would love to. Beware, Roman. Sakura is the best shooter in the whole village. We'll see about that. So we walk to a shooting stand. Bang! 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 Sakura made three perfect shots in a row on a big plushie of Bye Bye Nico, which fell on its back. Yay, I love plushies. You're great at this, Sakura. It doesn't feel like it does in the arcade. That's smart. I knew what to do. I had to get another plushie for a Sakura. My turn to try. I gave 100 yen to the guy at the stand, took the gun and targeted a cute coconut plushie that seemed easy to get. Bang, bang, bang. Missed. Hold on, I'll try again. 100 yen more on the table. Bang, bang, bang. Dang, the plushie moved a bit, but it wasn't enough for it to fall. Or more. Bang, bang, bang. I got it. I got the plushie. I was about to give it to Sakura, but I remember Rika and Nanami. Maybe I should get one for each of them, too. I was about to pay 100 yen more to the guy. Rika showed her, shoved herself through. Hold it, Sidoret. It's my turn to play. I get the same plushie with only three shots. You'll see. While Rika and Nanami were busy at the stand, I gave the plushie to Sakura. For me? Oh, it's cute. So cute. Thank you, Roman. She kissed me wildly in front of everybody in a way that the man is more used to, to than the girl. I imagine it, girly, and I don't know what to say. I felt embarrassed and shy, but happy. Ah, missed again, darn. Apparently, Rika isn't very good at shitting games. But she finally got the plushie too, after a while. I think it's because the guy was seduced by Rika's sexy Yukata. Ah, oh, seriously. How about we get some food now? I feel hungry. Excellent idea. Me too. Me too. Hello. Let's go. I'll show you a good stand where they make excellent takoyaki. Ooh. Mmm. For me, it was just excellent as we could promise. Also, none of me. Yeah, cute too. I'm full. I told you it was good. This is the best place to find them. I want more. Hey, more of these, please. Can eat more, huh? Rika, how can you eat so much of this stuff? Do you have a black hole instead of a stomach or what? Ah, there's a... <laughs> Natsuki, hello. Actually, Rika can eat a mountain of food without adding on any pounds. Ah, because... I mean, you mean she does gain pounds, but it's not on the waist. It's more on the other sides that are very much good for... Uh, for attracting bug guys. Really? She's lucky. I have to control my own weight to make sure I don't end up too far. <laughs> Same for me. We finished the festival by watching the fireworks. The show was fabulous. At a moment, Sakura and I kissed their screedy in the dark under the fireworks. Oh, nice. Sakura and I were on the way back home. I'm completely overwhelmed of happiness because of the festival and the night with Sakura. Before the second though, thought I tried to act out a cliche from movies I've seen before. Want to come back to my place for a drink? Huh? I suddenly noticed what I just said. I started to blush and spoke incoherently. I, I mean, if you, if you, I mean, if, if you, if you, well, I mean, okay. I was surprised. Sakura watched me with a tinge of shyness. She looked like a cute 
pegging kin. Oh. You want to give her that drink? Ah. Uh, yes, take me to your home, Roman. My heart skipped a beat. My own girlfriend. In a kimono, coming to my bedroom for the night. I'm pretty sure that we wouldn't just sleep that night. Okay, bro, you, your horniness is going too much to the roof. Apparently, my parents weren't back from the festival yet. I entered my house suddenly and went upstairs and into my bedroom. When I turned on the lights, Sakura opened her eyes widely. Whoa! It's incredible, all of these posters. Oh, it's High School Samurai. <laughs> yeah, I took the habit of collecting posters. You bought them at Tokyo? Yes, I was living near Gamers, the biggest manga shop of Tokyo. Oh, I've heard of it. I hope I can visit it someday. As she was speaking, I hugged, I hugged her back lovingly. We made sweet love to each other. My God, the the the, the bro can't hold back. If if you're alone and with Sakura, it's just okay. We just we just we gone with the clothes, gone with the with the under clothes, and then just just come. <coughs> yep, we are so tired after this evening. We dozed up. I woke up slowly. Looking at the alarm clock, it's kinda late. I felt something warm against me. It was Sakura. She was sleeping naked in my arms. Oh no. I smiled and watched her sleeping. Even after the obvious evidence I've seen, I still can't believe that she's actually a boy. She looks like a girl. She speaks with the voice of a girl. She smells like a girl. She has soft skin like a girl. I would have said something right now, but I don't. But my heart becoming sweet, beating sweetly as her warm, sweet little hand was on my chest. Oh, my brain just uh, just thinks of that. Mm. Mm -hmm. She finally opened her eyes as she saw me. She smiled and then cuddled me tighter with a sweet sigh, and went back to sleep. I sighed of her, of hap I sighed of happiness. Oh, oh no, my parents! Let's shut it back from the festival. Ultimately, it's already morning. What are they gonna say if they see me with a girl in my bed? At least, if, if, if they don't see the evidence, I don't know. And with the evidence, I don't even know more. What should I do? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, Sakura? Roman, I love you. She fell asleep again. Stop panicking to listen for a moment. I was waiting for an indication that would tell me if my parents were back. Nothing. I slowly moved out from my bed, letting Sakura sleep and looked outside the window. My parents' car wasn't there. Maybe I can do something at last. Roman? Sakura just woke up and sat on the bed. Sakura, my parents aren't here yet. You should go home now before they come back. My parents are kind of strict when it comes to relationships. The girl nodded. She looked all sleepy. That was cute. I smiled. Aw, I had too much fun last night. The girl giggled. She stood up and took me in her arms. Her warm naked body was against mine. I kissed her again. After some time, I helped her put on her kimono and took her to her house. You promised to have another date very soon. You mean like they date and not like... Like, I went back home and turned on my computer. No. Oh. Dear sister, how are things? I, it's been a while since I wrote. I mean, a few weeks. <coughs> you never guess what happened. I'm going out with someone. She's a wonderful person. A unique person. It's kind of hard to tell you more about this. You have to promise that you'll never tell our parents. At least... I'm happy. More happy than I have ever been. It's as if I just got the best Christmas present ever. I'll send you a photo of us. I don't know how much longer our so story will last. As far as I can remember, very long. But I'm sure I'll never forget it for the rest of my life. What I'm living is really unique. I hope everything is okay for you too. And that you are as happy as I am. 
your dear brother, Roman. P.S. The local summer festival was great. I hope you had a wonderful event like this in Tokyo. Oh boy. Oh. I wish I was a regal. 